I'm grateful tonight to have these huge minds who have spent their careers digging deep into their fields to share knowledge around immigration, journalism, civil rights, and technology and the arts. One thing that has struck me as I've done these interviews with the editorial is that the people that we sit with have spent years thinking about their craft. And that knowledge, they are so excited to share. When I sit down and say, I'm going to sit with you for 45 minutes and hear this interview um, and ask you a lot of questions, they just shine. I mean, who doesn't like being paid attention to? So I want us to make that our goal tonight, um, that we try and get as much knowledge as we can out of these four guests up here. And I know there are a lot of smart people in this audience, and I hope you will share with us as well. Um, but let's make this a community event tonight to try and put some facts on the table, to get what knowledge we need, and then go and share it. When the ban came into effect, I think that a lot of people were very scared. And at least in our company, uh, there's, I don't know the exact numbers, but there's many employees affected by the ban. So, uh, I mean, there's two elements. One is that uh, uh, I think a lot of the high tech companies are fairly progressive right now. Uh, their CEOs are fairly progressive, so are their boards. Uh, so there's that human element that is present at the board level. And the other one is a matter of taking care of the employees. And, uh, and at least our, our company at Microsoft, there's a very a uh, strong sense that the company needs to be there for the employees in a number of ways. Uh, so when the ban came into effect, uh, uh, first off, I mean, what I hear is that HR got inundated with questions about what is going to happen. And closer to your mouth, if you can closer uh, to me. Yeah, sorry about that. So there is certainly, um, and a lot of people contacted HR, what do we do about this? Because this is the beginning, and we don't know where it ends. Uh, and I think that the stories were getting compounded with, with stories from people that were being detained, even if they were not from any of the banned countries. They were going through stricter control. So it wasn't just a matter of, of the order, but uh, uh, the border patrol, CBP, I think it's called. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of these agents really enjoy the rule and enjoy not being chained anymore by the, uh, by the rules of the previous administration. So I think. Uh, that some of those desires of being stronger at the border uh, were unleashed. So there were stories of, uh, of people struggling at the border. Uh, there's been this very long-standing uh, issue with unlocking your phones and whether you can give the passwords and is the password your, your you know, it's, are they violating your rights? Is the, uh, the thumb enough or not? So, so I know that there was a, uh, and series of meetings coming out of Silicon Valley of people that were trying to organize. And I think that in the end, it ended up with uh, most, about 100 tech companies uh, essentially filing uh, uh, an amicus brief in support of, uh, of opposing the ban. Uh, so that's what's happening. And, um, and, and I, I, there's two things that, that I like to reflect on. One is, uh, is during this whole this whole Trump administration has been, uh, has been uh, the mood has been one of despair. And there's two things that really brighten up the day. I think that events like the, the one when the, bus, uh, the bank came into effect and the, mm -hmm. the people's response was very strong. And, uh, and I've always remembered that even in the grimmest moments, people would ask Chomsky, so what do we do now, right? Chomsky does these lectures that are always very grim. Right, it's like, oh, we're, we're, all, we're, we're all doomed. And everybody, in every lecture, they always say, so what do we do now? And, and Chomsky always says, you organize. You organize and, and you fight back. And, uh, and we did. I feel that um, if you have someone like Susan in your...